Don't be afraid to bend down and get down on your knees. <laughs> what are we doing today, Fred? <laughs> For some terrible, unforsaken reason, Christian has decided that he wants to learn how to paint and do body work. And uh, we've got the perfect test subject for him to learn on. Brandon's piece of junk Miata. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give him kind of a rundown on how to prep just a fender. A lot of the basics are gonna carry over onto the whole car. And then we're gonna go put this in the booth today and shoot the test color on there and see how we like it and see if there's any adjustments we wanna make before we prep the rest of the car and then shoot that. So this is my first time prepping anything for paint. So here's Fred showing me how we're gonna prep this still not running pile of shit. For like abrading all the edges and corners and stuff and getting in like all these little grooves and nooks and crannies and stuff like that, we don't want to use a piece of conventional sandpaper because it doesn't have much give. So trying to get down in there, you can see we're missing a lot of, you know, where we need to hit. And you can use the edge of the paper and try to get down in there and stuff. If you're really desperate, just use products like these red scotch pads. And this is equivalent to like a 320 grit sandpaper, the red ones are at least. And they're really good for kind of conforming to edges and like getting down in little grooves and stuff like that and properly prepping all that stuff. On the face, we're just gonna take 320 grit on a DA with a soft interface pad and just buzz down the clear coat. So what we're looking to do is just knock all the texture out and we're gonna make sure that there's no spots where there's uh, anything shiny sticking through essentially really want to knock the shine for the next coat to adhere properly. Since we don't care about this car, <laughs> and it's the only grit we have laying around, we're going to prep it in 320. Oh, it's already recording, dog. Oh. The first step, super important, uh, any panel that you're about to prep, make sure you wipe it down really good with some wax and grease remover and get all the contaminants off the surface and everything. That way you're not grinding it into the paint and then you have to try even harder to remove it later. We're still gonna wax and grease it before paint, but this just helps keep things clean. So I just, yeah, spray it down. Hey bro, can you spray that down here for me? Yeah, fool, don't look at it. I got this monopod roll so I can <laughs> film. <laughs> Flip it upside, upside down. down. <laughs> what you want to do is sand like all these edges too, right? All the way down in here and like all the way to this edge, right? It's all right. Sanded. Nice job, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Give it a basic dust off before we bring it in the booth because I don't want to trail a bunch of dirt and shit in there. Another pro tip, dust off your stand too if you're going to bring this in the booth with you as well. Pro tip, pro tip. Prep's done. Prep's done. Hey bro, wait, wait for me. All right. All right. Let's kick the booth on. Assuming that you guys are probably interested in what color we're painting this thing. Let me show you. <laughs> Beautiful, bro. Look at that hideous pinkish purple metallic pearlescent color flopping. Yeah, I'm gonna get here. It it's a close. I'm gonna get on the lens. Wow. Ugly. I wonder if we can get a light on that. Light. Some light. Some light. Oh, it is right there. I'm like, I'm gonna go grab the color matching light. <laughs> so, so you put a gig here. Yeah, we're putting these pearls. We're gonna put all three of them into like a mid coat <laughs> over top and then clear that. Okay. So, I don't know what the mixing ratio on this is because there's like five different types of base coat, like different brands. So I'm just gonna do two to one. A little, oh no! Oh, God. move the stick! It's a little too late now. Ruin. All right, well, I'll mix this up. Uh, start waxing, greasing it. Okay. For some reason, the gauge is For some reason, it's reading in bar. 
not reading at all. Whatever, I don't want to figure it out right now. We're going just based off how it sounds, bro. I almost missed the money shot, bro. edges first all right so i'm gonna go around i'm gonna hit like the part under the bottom around the wheel arts the front the, the fender jam like where the hood goes and then like the door jam area right and then i'm gonna coat the whole front like face of the fender you can start bottom to top top to bottom doesn't really matter what we're looking for is you have to think about kind of being like a robot and talk to yourself like that you want to maintain this nice even distance away from the panel the whole time. I'm a robot, I'm a robot. And you want to maintain that pattern overlap, the 75% pattern overlap as you work your way down or up the panel. One thing too to pay attention to is the angle of your gun, right? So you don't want to be like pitched too far forward where your fan pattern is going to be real heavy at the top, real light at the bottom. You don't want to be pitched sideways because then it's going to be super light and just kind of shooting all over the panel everywhere. You can tell with a solvent base coat, it's generally ready for the next coat when it all turns a nice matte finish. Walk the Reaper, Oh, we fine. There you go. But then we're gonna dump a bunch of random pearls in here. It's got green in it. Soon, your whole car is going to be painted with orangutan jizz. I can't wait. I can't wait either. It's going to be beautiful. It is. It's going to be like a... It's going to be nice, but not nice at the same time. Like the paint job, high key is actually really nice. But it's weird. What do you mean it's weird? It's a pretty color. You cool with it? You like, you like? Color. Good. I like that color when we painted on the van. <laughs> and now it's an orangutan jizz 2.0. Yeah. It's gonna be better because you want to try and push this by yourself. As we, as we all know, the sequels are always better than the original. You want me to like hold the other side down a little bit? Yeah. It didn't seem like you didn't do much. Okay, I've been instructed on what to do. I'm gonna go panel by panel, tape off all the little moldings, all the things I don't want to sand. Now we go to four hours of sanding stuff, or longer. Who knows?
got all the panels prepped down in 320 grit. All the edges sanded with the maroon scuff pad. We're gonna get this thing blown off. Get all the dust off of it and uh, get it in the booth so we can mask her up. So again, obviously these aren't ideal circumstances, but Christian is blowing himself off to just get the majority of the loose dust and stuff off him. We got the booth all prepped up. So we rinsed off the floor in here and swept it up real good. So there's no loose dust, wet down all the walls, got all the loose trash and everything picked up. So it's time to roll the car in. Oh my God, it's done. We got all the edges taped up. Some edges we back masked so that the sticky part is actually facing up. But the important part with all this stuff is that there's still a small gap between the paint and the molding itself. So now we're gonna pull the big plastic sheet over top of the whole car. What do we do, Christian? Well, man, uh, we seem to have mastered the entire car off camera. Uh, leave a comment below if you can tell which side Christian masked off and which side I masked off. So now we're gonna hit it with the water-based panel wipe and then a solvent-based panel wipe and then we're gonna air blow it and then we're gonna tack rag it and then we're gonna put a sealer down. And you're gonna not see any of it because the camera's messing up and we're just gonna throw it away. All right, so what we did we got it wiped, went around with the air blower, hit all the corners and the edges and the grooves. We made sure that nothing's got any wax and grease crap down in there, so it's not gonna spray out and <laughs> everything up. <laughs> now we're mixing up this sealer and Christian's about to lay it wet. Real wet. Customers in the shop are just like, I don't like this place. <laughs> Thank you.
due to the camera issues we were having, I don't have a lot of the finished clips of the car. So here's some photos I took of the finished paint job.